Hi, it's Megan. This is a total guilty pleasures video. Um, I, I, I had to buy. I just, I had to buy the six uh, CoverGirl Star Wars lipsticks. I don't. It was just one of those things that you know it happened, and I don't regret it at all. So the first one is my least favorite, but it's the lightest, so I wore it first in the video. Uh, but this is number ten, and I'm going to swatch them, and then I'm going to change them on video so you can see what impact my natural lip color has on these colors. So these are the Star Wars cover girl and uh, there's not really a lot of there's no information whatsoever on these right that's all it says just says Star Wars cover girl which is fine. Um, I don't love this formula. It smells a little bit like chemicals. I don't know I think it might be trying to smell like vanilla but it smells more like chemicals to me which is fine. They're not that irritating, actually, and the scent fades really quickly. This one, the silver, is a little patchy, but other than this one, they're all pretty amazing. So there's the silver, and this one works beautifully over other colors, so it doesn't look great on me, honestly, alone, and like my lips seem to fade away, but over other colors, it's really pretty, and the silver is a very cool tone. It's got like a bluish, maybe lavender blue undertone to it, and uh, what really works is if you pat it over like a red or a burgundy or whatever else. So we're going to do them in order of numbers. So the next one is number 20. And this is the lilac shade. And so swatched. It's just a really pretty. And this, again, you can put over another color. When I do it... I prefer to blot it with my finger so I don't get the color on. So yes, you can wear it alone with a smoky eye. Again, I think it actually, because it's so metallic, it looks better off camera than it does on. Like my lips totally fade away. This actually is quite pretty, but I hate the way it's looking on the side of the camera over there. Um, anyway. It's really beautiful over any kind of, uh, you know what, if you want to take a warm tone and cool it up a little, or just take a cool tone and stay consistent, it's really beautiful. Metallic. These are all pretty metallic. The next one is number 30. It's a red. See, we didn't get all that off. This one really is a red. Um, it's like a cool pinky red with a slight blue undertone to it. It doesn't have the same kind of shimmer the others do. I'm going to just really quickly put the lavender over it. Not the silver, the lavender. And so the red is part of the dark side. The first two were part of the light side. And I think the red just stands out a lot more with one of these shimmers over it. See the impact it has? It's very pretty. The red is fine. It's, it's not my favorite, but it's fine. Now the next one I love, number 40, right here. This is a light side shade. And from what I understand, these are limited editions. This is like an orange gold. It's so, it's so Tom Ford, quite frankly. This is the kind of shade that kind of ramps up the Tom Ford formulas and just makes them like totally pop. I like it alone. I've got very rose pigmented lips. I think it's really pretty, um, but it's also gorgeous over another shade. Next we have number 50. which is this deep, dark plum shade. This is a dark side. I don't have any clue how they numbered these. There's like no rhyme or reason to it. I'm actually gonna say something I didn't think I'd say. These types of shades are really hard to wear. This is like a deep, rich, grapey purple with a little, almost barely a black and brown undertone, it actually wears better than a lot of higher quality brands. 
no, not higher quality, higher price point. And when you take the silver and dot some of this over it, and these are all wearing about an hour and a half, almost two hours only, almost two hours. Look how pretty that is. Once you put the silver over it, it's just a really sophisticated shade. But you have to be careful not to get too much of the purple on the silver because then you change the color of the silver. The purple and the red do stain a little bit on me. The rest not at all. The last one ah, is number 70. This is my favorite. It just happens to be the last color wise. And this is a peachy sheening, I think. Beautiful on. And what's hard for me to tell is these are mostly, they're actually quite mostly opaque. Uh, but I can't tell how much my natural lip color impacts the color of this, right? It looks just so pretty on. But I do have pretty red rosy lips for the most part. But I, I love these. I think that these are a great deal. Um, so again, they last about an hour to two hours depending on the shade on me. The lighter, like the silver, is the most patchy. Uh, the rest of them probably last close to two hours with the silver being the one hour. Mm. Mm -hmm, that's so great. Um, they are limited edition and they're available on Ulta and drugstore.com and hopefully they're going to be coming to drugstores. That's what the rumor is, but I don't think I've seen any blog posts or anything saying that they've seen them. And they're typical cover girl price, which ranges from $5.99 to $8.99 depending on where you get them. But they're so fun and they're just such great, great shades. And I do see... Um, little bits of, of Tom Ford and kind of the way that they, they shimmer. So that's my thoughts on this collection. I do really like them. Thanks for watching.